Live from Aunt Betty's studio in Carson City, Nevada. From First Presbyterian Church, where we are opening the gospel quite energetically to Carson City and beyond, it's the, the Mary and Sherry Show. Show. <sighs> I know why you're so perky today. I don't know. Oh, I do. We're, we've, we're hitting fall. The temperatures are coming down. We get to wear our comfy fall sweaters and, and drink our warm coffee. And that has just chippered you up and you're ready to go. Am I right or am I right? No, you're not right. <laughs> but I'll agree with you today. You, you will? Not uh, really. Probably not. No, I don't think so. You're more of a, a summer. I am. I had to wear a vest today. Did not make me happy. <laughs> and I'm like, bring on all the, bring on the warm, cozy things and, and all of that. So anyways, thank you for being here, no matter how you feel about it. That's all right. And hey, and a huge shout out to our creative director, Randall, who put all this together. Walked in and here it was. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. Nothing for summer, but we'll do it for fall. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Now, 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 now. Just saying. <laughs> Anyway, let's get on to um, definitely a shout out to Randall, but then um, our other shout out, a big shout out, you know, this coming Sunday is a special Sunday. And so if you're watching this, pay attention. Sunday is Pastor Appreciation Sunday. And so we want to do a big shout out to Ian. Absolutely. And uh, he's accomplished a lot in the short time he's been here, not even a year yet, but he is flying, 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 doing one thing and another. Non-stop. So, Pastor Ian, we love you. We appreciate you. Yeah, we do. And uh, you may not see that in the day-to-day -day as we're <laughs> dealing with ministerial things sometimes, but we really do. And uh, we're glad that you're here. So, so thank you for being with thank us. Thank you and, so much. And leading the flock here at First Presbyterian. Well, we have a bonus bluegrass, Sherry. Ooh, yes, we bonus do. Bonus bluegrass, yeah. Yes, it's going to be today at four, okay. and it'll be back here on the lawn. Okay. And um, you're to bring your own chairs and an instrument if you'd like. Nice. So, um, depending on the afternoon, it should be pretty nice. I mean, right. Well, you know I, what's so great about that. Well, it will be nice. That's the thing. It's not going to yeah. be miserably hot. It will be. Yeah, that's because true. Because the temperatures are just right. Because it's fall. Yes, I know. It's gonna. It's fall. I have to say it is fall because it legally is fall. But <laughs> it'll be a wonderful thing to yeah. have out there, and Absolutely. I and I just hope people come and enjoy, come in and enjoy it because Absolutely. it's it's something that I think is really great. Yeah. After that, tomorrow and Saturday is our annual craft fair. That is a big deal. Uh, that is organized by Grace Spiker. She puts a lot of work into that. And you know she you're going to find does. some quality arts and crafts mm -hmm. here. And so it will be 4 to 8 on Friday and 9 to 3 on Saturday. And it's all downstairs. So just uh, find an open door and come on in. The entrance fee is $2. Okay. And uh, Or you can bring cans of food to go in the Blue Barrel, which is another nice thing. And that will benefit the Northern Nevada Dream Center if you do that, Correct. you know. But this is the time of year when we start seeing all of these craft fairs in the fall in such a perfect time. You can just enjoy the day mm -hmm. and and um, and just be having happy fall thoughts as you're getting ready for the Christmas giving season. Well, not only is there going to be the craft fair, mm -hmm. but at the craft fair, mm -hmm. they're going to have a craft fair coffee. The coffee palace will be Ooh. open during the craft fair, and they are going to be there for all your caffeinated mm -hmm. needs. So I, there's what, a... What is more perfect than on a cool fall morning, sitting down with your, your nice hot cup of coffee, and you just maybe under a blanket and you're just like looking out at the leaves changing and they're kind of floating to the ground and maybe a little pumpkin spice in there. It's perfect. So I'm glad to hear the coffee palace will be open. Me too. 
super excited about this. If you remember, it was back in like July or August that Dr. Right. David Gethy was supposed to mm -hmm. be here. He's going to be here this Sunday. Now, from what I understand, he's not preaching. That's kind of a bummer, but you know, he's going to be here. And I'm going to say he's probably going to be happier being here in October than in August. Because if he's from Kenya, he's probably used to some really right. high temperatures. Okay. And now he gets to enjoy autumn in Nevada. Well, and I think that um, I heard uh, Pastor Ian this morning talking about the fact that he's going to have a discussion with him at, at oh, the service. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So that'll be good. So good. that'll be an inter he'll be interviewing. Very nice. Him. And so uh, you will have an opportunity to give a love offering to Doctor Githy, and there will be information in your bulletin on that mm -hmm. because you can, if you want it without a receipt or with a receipt, there's two different ways Correct. of giving. So uh, just look in your bulletins this Sunday. And um, I'm just very excited to welcome him to our congregation. Well, speaking about the Bible, we have Wednesday Bible study, but it's going to be canceled for this coming week. Oh, really? Yes, because on uh, and that's on October 16th. Yeah. That And that will be returning uh, the following week on the 23rd. Oh, okay. Um, so I, I'm not sure what, what the reasoning is. I, but I know Pastor has some time off. I don't know why. But I will say... <laughs> When I first started teaching here in Carson, I had taught out in Silver Springs. Right. And I got a job here in Carson, and the school was year-round. Correct. And the lovely thing about that was the fall break. We got okay. three weeks off in the fall, and you could not ask for a more perfect time for a break because temperature was perfect, trees are gorgeous, um, people are busy doing things, and so you kind of had the run of whatever. You could run amok among the beautiful leaves and uh, just have a great time. So me, if he's on just a little bit of a break to enjoy this time, well, that's, good that's on you, good. Pastor. Absolutely. So I don't know. Anyway, so speaking of crafts, right? So we have Correct. our craft fair. Well, November 2nd from 9 to 5, we're going to have a craft maker's day. And Cray Waller is in charge of that. So the difference between a craft fair and a craft maker's day, if you didn't know, in a craft fair, the crafts are made and you go buy them. At a craft maker's day, people who do arts and crafts come together and just work on their things. Well, that's cool. Right. And so we do it downstairs in the fellowship hall and in the library. There's big tables to lay things out on. We will provide um, extension cords with lots of plugs. So if people have sewing machines or irons, they need to do that. You'll need to bring your own ironing boards though. You can quilt, you can crochet, do paperwork, paint, anything, anything at all. Just have a good time. Stop in. Uh, Cray's asking that you bring some snacks or drinks to share with everybody. So. Maybe some warm coffee. Maybe some or warm. Or cider. Well, oh, so you, that, that is a yeah. great point. Cider is another wonderful thing. Of course it is. About fall, <laughs> right? Did, now, do you know what differentiates cider from apple juice? Well, not really. Cider is well, just. Well, it's got the spices in it. it and well, everything. usually it's just straight unfiltered right. apples. Like, there's they haven't done anything with it. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing added, no nothing. Okay. Now then you can go from there. You can add some cinnamon. Well, that's or right. That's whatever true. it is you might want to, and then warm it up a little. And oh, perfect wow. on a fall evening around a bonfire. Shall we go on to the next topic? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now is the time to submit names to the nominating commission for the new term of deacons and elders. See the insert in your bulletin for all the information. Please do not nominate anyone without their knowledge and consent. Nor nominating commission, our nominating commission is Linda Ritter, Jackie Dyer, Debbie Ade, Dave Berger, Mary Bergoon Spradley, Randall Gray, Ron Roberts, and Carol Wilson. All right. I mean, that's a, that's a tongue twister. I guess, I guess. I'm sorry about that. That's, it's okay. Um, and I believe, I don't know if they still have an insert in the bulletin, but definitely in the narthex there's something to read. Correct. So I'm not sure if you will have an insert in your bulletin, but you can find that out. Yeah, this is the time of year that we do this because they will be installed in January, I believe it is. Right. And so uh, in the fall, we just know with the turning of the seasons. Correct. That that's the time that we start nominating people. Mm -hmm. And I think people tend to be in a better mood and more open Correct. to it when the weather is cooler 
and they're not all sweaty and yucky like it is in the summer. So, yeah. Whatever you say, Sherry. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk about our missions to pray for. So our first one, our international one, is Kiva. Okay. Okay. So Kiva provides micro loans for borrowers to improve themselves, their families, and their countries. Please pray that loan recipients find God's hand in their midst as they fulfill their needs and dreams with these loans. And then our, um, I'm, hold on, I'm falling. Our local one that we're going to be praying for is food for thought. And you know what the best thing about that is? Don't tell me. It's fall food. No. <laughs> it's that every Friday kids who might otherwise not get good food over the weekend get to take bags of food home. Oh, well, make me look bad. <laughs> what is your problem? Well, it's all the fall stuff you've been mentioning. Because you know I am a summer person. And Have again, you... I'm wearing black in memory of my summer. You know. We need to do a, um, a color study on you and see what you really are. Well, I'm Hawaiian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Scottish. Uh, plaids, you know, they're very colorful. German. German. But I know the color study you're talking about is what is my real color for me. Yes. And a lot of times they say blue. 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 Because of my blue eyes. Oh, I see. Yeah, I get yes. that. Makes them look really good. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be going forth this week and enjoying some wonderful things from bluegrass to craft fairs to Dr. David Gethy and Pastor Appreciation Week and and all sorts of wonderful things and we're going to do it in this lovely lovely lower temperatures and just be looking at all the beautiful trees around carson city that are changing color aren't they beautiful all right i, I admit they look nice okay that's all i'm right? going to say okay yep yeah so with all that in mind what did you want to say well this is youtube yeah and it's time to wrap this thing up so so we, we invite like you to, to like, like Subscribe and ring the bell. We gave you a real bell this time. Kind of. And share. <laughs> and share, yes. Find somebody that needs to hear the good news of fall and the real good news of Jesus Christ and share this with them, all right? That I agree on. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Love you all. See you Sunday, Saturday, Thursday even. Bye. <laughs>